I want to continue talking about color and some of the other things that are involved with it. When we had a, a, a movie we saw before had a color palette document that I saved as such when I open that in Illustrator it comes out to be that uh, blue and red and green shape and remember that when I go into swatches the colors that I saved are right here so every time I open it it is um, those colors return when I'm opening that same document or use that document as a base for information I've saved. <clears throat> There's one other thing about color I wanted to show you I'm reluctant to do this because it's quite complicated but you should know where it is in case somebody asks you. If you come down here to this little bucket uh, underneath in the color swatches it says swatch libraries. Click on that and it opens up a um, drop down menu and I want to go to color books and when that opens you'll notice that it's there's a lot of stuff that has Pantone on it. I'm gonna go to Pantone process coded. Pantone is an English company that is in, involved with identifying colors accurately and they have what they call the Pantone matching system to a printer that's called PMS. Pantone matching system is guaranteed to get you the right recipe two jiggers of this one jigger of that and four jiggers of this and you'll get the same color ink anywhere in the world. So you see that Pantone has a lot of things, color bridge, metallic coated, plastic, pastel coated, pastel uncoated. I'm going to go to Pantone process coated. Process colors are ones that uh, end up in a CMYK press. Coated means coated stock, white shiny paper. Uncoated is white unshiny paper. But when I go there, you notice it opens up and it's just a plethora of colors. Notice that the slide bar here goes down a long ways, and so this one box, you can see thousands of colors. And it's uh, the PMS colors. You can see this color right here is Pantone DS89-4C, C for coated. If it was uncoated, it'd be U. And this color over here is uh, Pantone uh, DS57-1C. Now, if you have a client that needs to have a particular color and they've identified it as a PMS color, then you can go here and find it. But you're going to have to have a really strong computer that won't bog down this much information. Right now is making my computer uh, breathless. And so I'm showing you where that is so that you know where to go look for it if you need to. But don't go there to pick colors. You will have your computer just wheezing trying to keep up with all this stuff because there's so much there. So I'm going to turn it off now and go back to some things that aren't quite so taxing. I have these two colors here, and I, or three colors, and I'm going to move them a little bit out of the way. I'm going to make a, um, uh, I select that color, see, and it come, that blue color, and it comes into my fill. I'm going to make a, a little square up here. Remember how we did that in the quilt project? There's one square. I want nine different color shades here. So there's one Option key, shift key, there's two blues, and then command D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want the ninth one to be this color red here. I want, the, I want to make a color blending from blue to red. And that's selected, so I take this uh, eyedropper tool, and if I click in the red, it makes this color appear in that selected shape. If I wanted green, pick in the green, that color there would select, would go into that selected shape. I'm going to stay with the red. I want to see nine colors that get me from blue, color change, color change, color change to red. So what I'm going to do then is uh, select all nine of these. All of them blue except for the last one. Then I'm going to go to edit and down to uh, edit colors and then I'm going to blend horizontally. Not vertically, not front to back, but blend horizontally because my colors are laying horizontal. When I do that, you see, voila, blue, not so blue, purple, purple, not so purple, reddish, reddish, more reddish to red. Now, if I wanted to save all those colors, I would come down here in my little box and uh, I'd probably have to save them one at a time. There's the blue. Let's see. It's, let's take this middle one and just hit that bingo. And it doesn't need a name per se, but it's going to show up right there. So I could save all nine of these colors. The blue one here and the red one here, I think, are already on my... 
Well, maybe that's my navy blue. So I could save all those colors, and then I could use them in some sort of design where I want to see my colors uh, blend in, in lines or in squares or in dots and blend back and forth. So that's uh, useful for the idea of blending colors and helping having the computer help you choose the colors so that you are getting close to where you want it to be. Now let's see more on color uh, coming up in coming situations but I want you to see that um, don't be afraid of color don't be afraid to make color choices or using the the color um, um, sliders here to get the, the color you want for a particular job that you're going to do.